morning, everybody. I'm using a Christmas bug. It's the day before Thanksgiving. It's okay. Whenever I cleaned out the cabinets, I brought down my Christmas mugs. Look at that steam from the coffee. It just warms your heart inside. So here we go. It's time to get this day started. We're going to see my mama today. It's almost turkey time. Happy Thanksgiving. In the new old way. Here we go. Bye, tree. Bye, bye, tree. I need a car. He's driving the car. <laughs> What does that mean? They run fast. They run fast? I'm walking around, feeling free, thinking about what's happened to me from July. Are you helping put up the tree? What a family Lately I've come to realize that I can see it in your eyes, so it's true. I'm so glad you feel it too. Nothing to hide. We're falling in love. Thank you. You singing a song? Thank you. Oh, you want me to sing a song? Jingle bells, jingle bells. You do jingle bells. Jingle bells, jingle bells. Good job. Jingle bells. Welcome family and friends. Now what we are about to do, you probably already know since we got these pans right here. Uh, the reason I like to double these bad boys every year is because when you're cooking for a long period of time in that oven, sometimes a little pinhole can get in here. Yeah, because you're pulling and it you out. you start losing it out. all that liquid. Double that bad boy. You want to triple it. In your fine. fresh clean oven too. Right. Ours is fresh and clean daily. <laughs> we clean that ducker every single day. He wants me to ride this horsey. That's how you do it. Can you do it like that? You was okay. You was in a slow load. Oh, okay. I hear you, boy. So we're gonna get the turkey in here and then it would not be Thanksgiving without a last minute trip to the store because you forget something. This says easy open bag here, butterball. Not you, the butterball. <laughs> Just because I was eating M&M's, you want to call me a butterball? They're getting better with this thing every year. Mm -hmm. They made it for your pointing fingers. Okay. Just like that right there, where you can just go, boom. Oh, yes, yes. Now, I gotta be honest with you, they did good right there. In the future, It said no knife or going, something needed. No knife needed at all, but in the future, it'll be a, probably. The turkey will just jump out by itself. It'll itself and be like. Oh, at the right there. time, at the right time. Yep. I'm fixing to show y'all what we're gonna do. We're gonna do something slightly different this year. We're not gonna go with your traditional stuffing. We're gonna do this with apples, onions. Take it off, chop some. Yeah, you come do the onion. You see the turkey? She turkey. -tur. He sees turkey. -tur, you see the turkey? -tur? Well, let Daddy show you how we're gonna cook this turkey. -tur. All right, now <laughs> when you're preparing your turkey, -tur, <laughs> you cut your sweet potato up like that. That's probably enough right there. Probably all you're gonna need is about two of them. Cut our apple up. This is probably gonna be enough apple. We also have some onion we're gonna be going inside with. All I'm gonna do with that lemon right there is I'm gonna basically just put a little slit in it. And all you gotta do is just boom. Now you're gonna to wanna to take this little bit of butter here and just slice it. What I love to do is go ahead and take my butter and start stuffing underneath this skin. And that skin's gonna hold that butter. I'm gonna put my basil leaf right down in there just like that. 
Stuff this bad boy with some sweet potatoes, apple, and onion. And then you just do it, start over. Sweet potato. That's what you continue to do until you get all the way out here. do this like this everybody and everything will be fine. Start going around and around. What about are you gonna push that up in the I might in just a second. I've just been looking at the whole situation. I love to come around the bootay. <laughs> just like that. It's gonna keep all that greatness and flavors just bundled up inside of him. The turkey is prepared tied up, now we're gonna go ahead and salt and pepper that bad boy and stick him in the oven. actually one of my favorite parts. I mean, you don't want to have to go to the store on Thanksgiving Day, but it's kind of fun, the hustle and bustle of everybody, you know, getting last minute things. We are hustling and bustling right now. Let's Here go. we go. Here we go. Here go. I got balls. Mm. Ball. game today. That's what I'm saying. We're going to eat. All right. See, Laura, we is 2.30. Game is 1.00. Okay. Wow. Always going to need paper towel. Think about somebody may spill the Coke. When you take home alone, for example, they didn't know they was going to spill all that Coke over. Right on Pepsi, Kevin's ticket. Whatever it was. Right on Kevin's ticket. Right. Okay, we are back. The Christmas music. We want Christmas music or a Christmas movie? Do what you feel. We've already watched Garfield's Thanksgiving. Let's just put it one more time on Garfield's Thanksgiving. I ain't forgetting you about Devil's Eggs. You can't have Thanksgiving without Devil's Eggs. Yeah, I'm not you forgetting. You can not have everything else, but you gotta have Devil's Eggs. That's, you said that same thing about the dressing earlier. Well, I'm fixing to inject. You go ahead and do I'm that. I'm fixing to inject right here. Here's a big needle. Boy, I tell you what, can't you see me coming at a cow with that? And they'll be like, what? Not the day. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh. oh, we got something going right here. I love to go slow. I don't like to go fast. See, you'll notice how it starts puffing up over here. What's going to happen right here, Mom? Right, what's happening over here is cornbread. You got to have cornbread for dressing. For the cornbread dressing. Now, y'all, this is going to come to a great, I don't know if it's going to come to, but it's going to be a great surprise to you. There's one ingredient you need to make sure you put in your dressing if you want it to be really good. And that's some little tiny bits of celery. Yeah, Cracker Barrel puts a little celery in there. Sissy sporting her best sister ever shirt today. That is true. Ready? Okay, Sissy's spreading that out and then we'll get it in the oven. I'll start the potatoes and the eggs while this is cooking. Oh yeah, because we, we definitely need to go ahead and do the eggs because we put boiled eggs in our cornbread dressing. I know that's not something everybody does. Good thing to do. Why? Because Mama did it. That's why. There you go. That's okay. why we do it. So Granny did it. <laughs> Granny did it. Mama did it. Everybody, everybody did it. Did it. <laughs>
so we've got eggs and potatoes in here for deviled eggs and eggs for the dressing and potatoes for mashed potatoes. Macaroni and cheese. The cornbread is done for the cornbread dressing. I'm just letting it cool down. Plus I need the boiled eggs for that. So when those get done, then we'll start making the dressing. I have the chicken broth already out for that. Green bean casserole ready to go in the oven as soon as there, oh, there's room now. But I think I'm gonna wait just a little bit because um, the turkey and everything still has a little while. So we'll wait until about an hour before everything's gonna be ready and then we'll stick that in. I'm about to start the corn spoon bread that we made the other day, Paula Dean's corn spoon bread. Jake is looking for Black Friday deals. I need to switch out laundry. I did start a load of laundry this morning. It was like a habit and I, after I did it, I was like, why did I even do that? I did laundry so I wouldn't have to do laundry today. I'm coming in here to get more butter. Oh, and I put the cranberry sauce in here. We like for the cranberry sauce to be cold when we eat it. So I put it in the refrigerator once it cooled down. I'm starting Paula's corn spoon bread. I'm doing a double batch this time of the spoon bread. All right, y'all come with me and let's go see what we got as far as Christmas decorations. Tyler got these boxes, so let's see what we got in them. Guess it goes around the bottom of the Christmas tree. Oh yeah, that's really what it's all about, everybody. Right there. We got a whole roll of that right there. Bales will be ringing. A lot of different decorations we got left over from over the gears. That one, that one is glass. Be careful with them glass ones. the next level. Wait. Somebody's out there like, how do you make them go to the next level? Let me show you. Hold on just a second, baby. Let Daddy show them how to make it go to the next level. You want to make it go to the next level? Okay. Get a little bit of paprika. You see how that's making them eggs look? Yeah. One, one last little thing we might do to these eggs. If you'll just do that okay. right there. Just a little basil on top. I see, Mama. I see. You want to see? Oh, no. Daddy make the eggs. Yeah. You got it. <laughs> you got it. Got it, bud. All right, we're ready to eat. What a feeling. Now it's time for Christmas. And Christmas is my favorite time of year. It's beginning to look like all my wishes. It's the moment you've been waiting for. We're going to get the tree. First year hauling the Christmas tree home. It's gonna be wonderful. Hey, do we have something to strap it down back there when we get it? Oh, he's got it, okay. Here we go. Are you ready, Dad? Wrong truck. Jake's taking his truck and we're going in the van. Little Grinchy Grinch on the way to get the tree. As they're getting their tree, we're getting our tree. Can we carry ours like that? <laughs> yeah. What do you think, Nanny? <laughs> Which one do you like, Manly? You like this one? But I've been waiting for the season that's mine. So let it come. 
Carol and 